In the last video, we have finished talking about core solver, so the core of the wave function collapse algorithm. This video, we will focus on what to do with the output grid of pattern indices that we have received from our solver. What we need to do is to map the pattern indices grid back to our values grid. Next, we create a tile map or any other structure depending on your input from the grid of values. What we need to consider though is what do we output if our pattern size is greater than 1? Because if our pattern size is 1 and we want the output of 3, then we have 3 patterns in each direction, so the grid is 3 by 3. But if the pattern is uh, of size greater than 1, then each pattern is uh, representing a bigger number of values. So if we have a 3 by 3 uh, grid of patterns uh, and we each pattern has two by two is two by two in size then we end up with in with a six by six output grid and what do we return uh, six by six or three by three or do we cut the uh, output because if we have a, a pattern size of a uh, number of greater than one then the output that we have created uh, has all the structures from the input. So the valid solution would be to return a 6x6 six six, uh, output rather than 3x3, three three, because then we just cut some of the structures away. But in our example, we will still return the uh, output asked by the user. So the size 3x3 three three means 3x3 three three despite the size of a pattern. In the slide you can see that the pattern grid is mapped back to the values grid and the result uh, is then transformed into a tile map. In the next video we'll get to unit setup and start implementing the wave function collapse code.